Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is showing someone who I'm seeing a very practical person who takes love and relationships seriously. This is the kind of person who commits and they you can trust this person. They keep their word. They're very responsible and um, I'm seeing reliable energy from this person. This is someone who likes to take their time and Either this person has taken their time to um, make a decision to commit to this or you've waited a long time for this kind of person because there's an energy here about patience because the Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy but there is a love here that is finally arriving for you that is the kind of love that is committed, reliable, dependable and solid. This is something long term. This is someone who is, um, you know, I'm seeing they have a lot to offer, they're stable and they are bringing some sort of committed energy to you so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say okay we have the ten of cups water energy we have the hierophant taurus energy and the three of cups water energy so there's definitely a long lasting relationship here for you the ten of cups is the ultimate fulfillment in love this is the happily ever after type of connection and there's a lot of emotional fulfillment you and this person are highly compatible there is an energy that you guys connect well as friends as well as on a romantic level because you also have the three of cups um this person could be um, taking you out you guys could be going out socializing getting to know each other spending time together but there's an energy of your love life becoming more committed in some way there's a higher level of commitment with the higher fancy. It's like this this person here, this Knight of Pentacles person, this can be the person that you spend the rest of your life with or you marry. This is someone who's marriage material and they're coming towards you with that energy. Um, the Ten of Cups is definitely showing that you guys want the same thing. You guys have the same vision. You guys have the same approach to relationships and there's an energy of having the same values and desires so you and this person really are compatible and there's an energy of getting into a long-term relationship and mutual respect here there's also a spiritual connection with the hierophant this is a connection that it's a learning connection it's like you're going to grow a lot through this connection um there's an energy here of both people being assets to each other both people helping each other grow and there's a lot of um committed energy so let's clarify these cards um sagittarius Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Justice card, and this is Libra energy. So again, you're connecting here with a very responsible, honest, integrous person. Um, this is someone who's going to be fair with you. This is someone who is your equal. I'm seeing you guys have a lot of shared values and beliefs. You guys want the same thing. And there's a partnership here that's forming with this person, and it's one that's fair. Um, this is someone, I'm seeing good karma. This is someone who, um, you know, it's like, it's almost going to feel like a blessing from the universe or comic rewards. Um, but I do see someone who's very honest and upfront. And this is the kind of person who's not afraid to take responsibility or accountability. Um, they're not afraid to apologize when they are wrong. This is the kind of person we're seeing here, someone who's responsible. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the star card, Aquarius energy. We have the seven of cups, water energy. 
and the full card aquarius energy so this could be a new person with the full card here um, or it could be a new beginning but there's an energy of opening yourself up there's something here about a connection that is beginning on the right foot and it's it's generally it won't be too hard the, there's with the full card here there's an energy of this person there's no baggage here there's a, a very clean slate here um, there's a lot of uh, divine protection as well so the universe could have made you wait for this kind of love but there's definitely it's like this is someone who is going to feel almost like <clears throat> too good to be true or they could feel like a dream come true with this um seven of cups energy and with the star card there this is a wish fulfillment something you've been actually manifesting is finally coming to fruition it's like you're you're experiencing the type of love that you've always wanted or wished for it's not a common kind of love because of the star card there's a rarity to this kind of connection you know it's like you guys connect um you know on the soul level in a spiritual way but it the, the reality also matches the fantasy there's an energy of it's it's practical as well as spiritual and deep and i do see here there's an energy of um you're still getting to know each other going out meeting each other's friends or you could be introduced to this person through friends or you guys could start off as friends but there is definitely an energy of enjoying each other's company and this is definitely a connection that can really be the one that you settle down with and have that long-term energy with okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you sagittarius So the card says your hard work is paying off new moon in capricorn so you could have been working a lot on yourself the hierophant is showing that um, you may have had a lot of past connections that were lessons uh connections that were there to teach you about yourself and it's like they prompted you to do a lot of inner work and um working on your vibration your frequency and all of this work that you've been doing on yourself is actually paying off now there's an energy of you're raising your vibration and you are attracting the kind of love that you you, you so deeply desire Desire. so there's definitely some sort of karmic reward about this connection because you have the justice card and the capricorn energy which is saturn so there's definitely a connection that is um you know a real blessing and also with the saturn energy that shows a lot of staying power it's long term it's something that it, there's a commitment that will last for a long time okay so i'm going to plot another card for you So the card says past life relationship you have known each other before and we have the justice card there's something spiritual about the connection it's fated it's meant for um but i do see it's like this is the kind of karmic relationship where you may just feel this feeling of familiarity you may feel very comfortable with this person and there's an energy of this is the kind of connection where yes you will learn a lot from this connection there's this lesson kind of energy to it but it's it's not a tough love type of lesson it's not like learning something the hard way or through heartbreak this is like learning through love because of the ten of cups it's like this person is coming here to, to show you that you are worthy of love there's something very enjoyable about this connection and something very emotionally fulfilling as well as it's teaching you something about yourself it may even be giving you that greater sense of self-love okay so i'm gonna plot another card for you um sagittarius So the card says, Sweet William, gallantry, grant me a single smile. Sweet William Small has form and aspect bright, like that sweet flower that yields great joy of delight. So this is going to be a very pleasant romance. This is going to be one where 
I'm seeing with the past life energy, you could be just very comfortable with this person. There's a friendliness. There's, it's like you can build an easy rapport with this person. You can just be yourself. There's this comfortable feeling when it comes to them. And there's a sweetness about this. Um, both people here are showing up as having very genuine intentions, both having the same goal and being highly compatible. And I, I do see a lot of fun times, a lot of smiles, a lot of laughter, enjoying each other, a lot of love, but at the same time, being able to build something stable and something solid and long lasting. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.